What's up Schwartz Force? Welcome back to the channel. Changed my setup a little bit and as you can see, boom, we got some new artwork in. This from Better Than Design Studios. This is my Seiko Alpinist poster print which I picked up, paid for myself so I don't want to give the wrong impression. I just saw that and figured I need to put that on my wall. Um, and I wanted to ask you guys, if you like the Seiko Alpinist or if this is a print that you would wanna see in a future giveaway, please let me know. I would love to feature another giveaway from Better Than Design Studios. I love how this pairs up also with my Everest print, both kind of being like mountain themed, um, really cool. So if you wanna see one of those in a giveaway, let me know. If you wanna pick one up, the link will be in the description for you. And I do have a coupon code with Better Than Design Studios that is David12, that saves you 12% off any order over $40. I'm a huge fan of their artwork, so please go check them out. Follow them on Instagram if you're not already. I'll put that link in the description as well. But today, we're taking a look. I missed you guys, by the way. So, you know, it's I've been super busy and I missed y'all. And here we are, we're back. We're gonna do an unboxing and kind of like, I don't wanna say initial impressions because I've had this for a while. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know, I purchased this Maurice Lacroix Icon Automatic and I've been enjoying this thing on the wrist. And so I wanna do kind of an unboxing, show you how it all comes in this particular setup and uh, just kind of my thoughts on it. And then of course, at a later date, I will do the full review on this thing with really cool macros, all the specs, and just give you guys like, if you're interested in, in the market for this particular watch, I'll do a full separate review on that for you. If you are new to the channel, my name's Dave, may the Schwartz be with you. And hey, did you know, it is a great day to wear a watch. What do we have here? This is the uh, Matthew and Sons Irukanji Diver mass watches. I love this thing. I wasn't expecting this. This was a really cool gift from Matt. So just want to do a shout out. And he has a active campaign going on right now for their field watch, the Arcticus. So I'm going to link that down in the description as well. So go check him out. And I have this on my Artem strap, sailcloth strap. So please join the Schwartz for subscribe if you haven't before. Welcome to the channel, by the way. And please give this video a thumbs up. That actually helps tell YouTube's algorithm to send this out, recommend it to other people who may not have heard about me. So I appreciate you guys. Without further ado, the Maurice Lacroix. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So here is the Maurice Lacroix box. We'll get into this in a second, but I just wanted to explain a little bit of why I decided to pick this watch up. And a big part of it is because one of the first few watches that I picked up was the Feiss FM019, which obviously this is an homage of the AP Royal Oak, a really great watch, you know, the bracelet, just look at that thing, um, real popular. And for me, I wanted something that was maybe not a direct homage, a little more, um, could kind of stand on its own. And that's what I found in the Maurice Lacroix Icon Automatic. Also a big part was this watch is not water resistant over 50 meters, probably 30 meters water resistance. So I wanted something that I could actually get into the water with and not have to worry about. So while I've enjoyed my time with the Feiss FM019, I finally decided to pull the trigger on this one here. So we'll go ahead and uh, open this up. You see we have some um, silver lettering printed on the outside of the box. We have this little protective fabric here. And then here is the box itself. So we'll come back to that. Underneath we have the user manual, which you can see here, international warranty. So it's got all the details, obviously in different languages. Um, so we'll put that back. This bottom part is foam, and this is just a cardboard box. And here is the actual case. Now, interestingly enough, this is not wood. It's more of like a composite kind of material. Bottom has this kind of velvet type of feel or felt to it. Um, so we see Maurice Lacroix branding, same thing in the front. You see this like little beveled edge here along the case. And then when we open her up, boom, there we go. So these are the original components that came with the watch. This is obviously the bag the watch was in. And let me zoom in for you. You can see I have the extra links in there from the seller. And underneath the watch we have the tag here along with all the original tags as well so i'm going to keep that in there now the boxing is nice has this kind of uh i don't know it's like a microfiber type of uh feel to it and i like this the way that the top portion of the lid 
has that little nub and that seats in so it kind of clicks into place there and holds it in nicely. It's a nice design, really nice box. And as you can see, this particular box set comes with the strap and this is the brown leather strap. So initially I was looking for the blue dial version of the Maurice Lacroix icon. However, I missed out on a couple of deals and um, I was on eBay constantly trying to hunt down a blue version of this watch. And I guess everything happens for a reason because I just, it wasn't happening. I would be their underbid or uh, someone would make an offer higher than mine. Um, when I saw this one post though, because the black dial, I feel like just isn't as striking for me. It looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I wanted either the blue or this white or silver dial. Now, for me, I think that this is the more rare or less common to have the white dial version like this. So when I found one on eBay as this box set, which had the strap, because for me, I love the bracelet. The bracelet's really what does it with this watch. However, I like the option of being able to dress it up with the leather strap. So for me to find this one with the strap included, um, I just had to jump on it. And the seller had it priced uh, to sell. I made a offer and basically just explained like, hey, look, you see my buying history on eBay. I'm ready to pay as soon as you accept my offer, you know, I'll, I'll pay it immediately. And we kind of countered a little bit back and forth and finally we came to a really good price. So I don't want to say what I paid for the watch, but I got a good deal, a fair deal, I should say, uh, being that this included the strap. These straps by themselves are well over 200, maybe $260 if you were to buy one directly from Maurice Lacroix. So factoring that in, I think I definitely got a really good deal. And eventually I'll pick up a blue leather, possibly even a black leather strap to go with this watch. Now, we'll take this off the pillow here because I know you guys want to see the watch up close. And this thing is just stunning. The bracelet, look at the perlage there, done really nicely on the double deployment butterfly clasp. And yeah, just amazing. Rhodium plated hands, Salita movement inside, and the crown of course there with branding. We unscrew it. Even though this has the uh, SD, SW200 movement, winds really nice, feels great. I love the solid crown stem there. Screw down crown, mind you, so definitely uh, the water resistance was one of the things that I wanted and definitely got with this particular watch. And again, that quick release on that integrated bracelet is just phenomenal. And we can see movements decorated beautifully. You know, I didn't pay new pricing, but when the watch arrives, pretty much like new. I know I've seen some other ones for sale. They were a little bit cheaper. However, typically here on the bezel, these would be scuffed up where they're high polish. And look at this, just a nice blend between that satin finish and high polish. So you can see how it wears on my seven inch wrist. Got that AR coating there. And again, I'll do the full in-depth review for you guys here in the future, but I just wanted to showcase this watch as the box set that I purchased it under. And then I'll go ahead and swap out the strap for you. And then boom, there you see, just beautiful clasp. I love the way that this integrated leather comes in. It's just so nice. I mean, we see the Maurice Lacroix, just small little attention to detail there. And again, can kind of dress this watch up a little. I think this would look really good in black and blue leather, but I love the brown option too. So you don't always have to keep it on the bracelet. Okay guys, so there you have it. My Maurice Lacroix Icon Automatic. I love this watch. I've been really enjoying my wrist time with it, but I want to hear what you guys think. Drop me a comment down below if you own or have experience with the Maurice Lacroix. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you would want to see a heads up side by side with the Feist FM019, maybe kind of comparing $200 watch versus $2,000 watch. If that's something you think you'd be interested in seeing, please leave me a comment because you know I don't want to make videos that you guys don't want to watch, but I think that'd be a cool kind of comparison showing the pros and cons of each. So let me know what you think. I'll definitely be doing the full review going in depth on this watch for you in the future. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the bell if you're already subscribed. And if you haven't joined the Shorts Force yet, you can do so now by tapping my icon over here. Ha, <laughs> icon, icon, boom. And then if you like this video and want to see more like it, check these out. I know you'll really enjoy them. And please give this video a thumbs up. That helps tell YouTube to share this with other viewers out there who love watches. 
but maybe don't know about my channel. So I look forward to seeing you guys at the next one. Until then, may the Schwartz be with you. Take care.